Hey, what is up, YouTube fam? It's Dupree, aka Dark Hater, here, and I have another one of my Star Wars stories. This is gonna be about the time that I first, my first and only time meeting David Prowse. This happened over a span of two days. This was a kind of a crazy story. So I remember seeing there was a convention coming up in Las Vegas, uh, it was Las Vegas Toy Con. And it's a smaller con compared to anything else like you know WonderCon and all that. It's like really small. There's a lot of little vendors, like they're selling toys, so it's not a lot of cosplay, but there is some, and then they have some celebrity guests coming in there for signings and everything. So uh it's in Las Vegas, and I obviously live in Southern California, you know. So I I made plans to go, obviously. So I read that um David Prowse was retiring from signing. That he was in the that he was retiring from signing um, in the United States, like he was done. So this was actually his last signing for good in the U.S. And up until that point, I had never met him ever. You know, I, I obviously followed him online. I followed his pages, his Instagram, Twitter, all that. So I got the info. I knew that he was retiring, and this was my last chance to meet him. And me. Um, I'm not really an autograph nut or anything like that. I, I obviously I have all of the original Star Wars movies on one sheet posters, like the really big 27 by 40 posters. Actually, I should say all six. Well, now I should say all 11 of them on one sheet posters. And I don't really care too much about signatures on stuff too much. Maybe a little bit like I'm not like that hardcore, but Empire Strikes Back is obviously my favorite movie ever and my favorite Star Wars movie So that is the one poster that I kind of wanted to get people's autographs on My thought process was, was like, okay, um, I'll go over there and get my poster sign and then One of my other friends gave me ideas like hey dude, like, you know, you dress up as Darth Vader Why don't you get the real Darth Vader to sign your helmet? And I'm like, that's a great idea Like have him sign poster, him sign the helmet and then I'll officially retire that helmet. Because if you have like, you know, a signature on a helmet like that, you're gonna wanna like just put it off the side and never really use it again. So that was my that was my goal. The week of uh, me going out there, I get a random text from my friend, uh, Leo Camacho. If you guys don't know Leo Camacho, uh, follow his YouTube, I'll link it down below. Uh, Leo is, Leo does a lot of work with Disney and he does a lot of high profile, like he does a lot. He does a lot of cool events and gigs. And I guess he was doing a commercial with a lot of other cosplayers that I know. He asked me to be Darth Vader in it. And I'm like, yeah, sure, dude. Like, I'm not gonna say no. Like, I'd love to do this. It's cool to like, you know, see people that you know and, you know, catch up, you know, work with a lot of different people and gain experience. And the, the convention was on the 16th commercial was the next day at like four or five in the morning and then on top of that I didn't realize that I also had another event right after that which was a toy giveaway at an orphanage here in Los Angeles so three big things I had to do over a span of a few hours and I'm just like, oh my God, this is gonna be a crazy few hours. So I was telling one of my friends about that who shall remain nameless because he's a big part of the story. So I was telling one of my friends about that and he's like, dude, uh, that's crazy. Like, you want me to go with you to Vegas? I think I'm just gonna road trip to Vegas, come back, do the commercial, and then from the commercial go straight over and do the event with the kids, the toy drive. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, yeah, dude, come with me, definitely. Like, just in case I get tired and everything. And then plus, it's like a free trip to you for Vegas. I told him I'm only gonna spend a day there, a few hours, and then immediately after I see him get everything signed, go straight back. I was gonna bring my costume, like I was gonna, you know. So I packed up my poster. I packed up my full Darth Vader costume for him to sign, for him to see, because my I, I wanted to go up to him, you know, fully dressed up tell him everything and, and stuff. So I did that, I brought my costume, packed it in the car, got my friend, I drove, actually no. So I was living, I'm living in Orange County. I drove to LA, picked up my friend because I don't think he, he had, his car was fixed at the time. And then we drove straight to Las Vegas, which was another four hour drive. 
And from the info, I knew that the con was at, the convention started at 12. So I'm like, okay, I'll get there. We'll get there a little early. I have enough time to dress up and um, we'll go. So we leave, I forget what time, it was late at night, but we leave, we get to Vegas at nine in the morning. And I'm like, okay, it gives us definitely a lot of time to like, you know, hang out and do whatever and then go to straight to the convention. So my friend suggests that we go walk up and down the strip, you know, see what's happening. Cause uh, I don't really, at that time I didn't really go to Las Vegas that much. So, so we walk up and down the strip, um, we go in to get something to eat. We go to a bar, we go to uh, Margaritaville. Uh, <laughs> randomly, I don't know why. I had like a drink. My friend had a few drinks, which I didn't really know. It was we were talking to like one of the bartenders, chopping it up about random stuff and why we were there. And the guy's like, "Wow, you really drove to Las Vegas to see him meet Darth Vader? That's dedication, dude. That's real dedication." I'm like, "Yeah, man. Yes, I'm a hardcore Star Wars fan. I was not gonna miss this chance to do this." So he's talking to my friend for a little while and I'm on my phone and then 11 o'clock rolls around and I'm like, dude, we got to get back. We got to get back so I can dress up and go do this. I didn't realize how drunk my friend was at that time. Like he was, he was on a good one, like a really, really good one to where he couldn't really walk too well. And as soon as I put him in the car, he kind of like passed out. I'm like, okay, well, I was thinking, you know, I'd have a little help, like a Wrangler, because whenever you go out in costume, and especially with somewhere where you don't know, it's unknown, you usually need a Wrangler, like somebody who's gonna like watch out for you, make sure everything's okay, because uh, wearing a full Darth Vader costume, if you guys didn't know, is very stifling. Your senses are very just numb. You don't, you can't see or hear a lot of things. The costume makes you very, very tall and stand straight up. So a lot of people come up to you or say something to you and you can, you can't see anything below, like, you know, right here below your nose, like literally, and you can barely like look down because like I said, it's a lot of, it's a lot of armor and a helmet and everything. So you always need somebody to like, tug on you and be like, hey, this person wants to talk to you. Hey, this person wants a picture because, you know, otherwise you look like a douchebag just walking straight through people because you can't see. And that's a lot of times that's what happens. I get to the convention um, and usually before when I get to a convention, I always scope it out. I, I look, I go in, I look around, make sure I know where everything is before I get in the full costume. So I go scope it out. I go look around for where the tables are for where David Prowse is signing. I find the tables and then a few tables down, <laughs> oddly enough, was Hip Hop Trooper. One of my friends from California, you guys all know Hip Hop Trooper, aka the Red Adidas Trooper, is right there. So it was cool to see somebody that I knew. We we're hanging out for a few minutes until Dave got there. So I go to Dave's table to look to see what's happening. Uh, his manager is there, which is was which is his son. There's pictures and signs there saying Dave Frost autographs, the pricing. But what I did not know, and I found this out too late, was that it was one signature per person. And I'm like, one signature per person. I brought my poster and I brought my costume or my helmet to get signed. So I'm like, crap. Uh, I'm gonna need my friend if I'm gonna get both of these signed. So I go back to the car and it's it's already like running a little late and my thinking is like, you know what, forget it. I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna dress up. I'm just gonna take my helmet and my poster, you know, for him to sign. And I was like telling my friend like, hey, come on, man, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need you. I, I, I need you to, you know, help me get my helmet signed. I'm gonna get my poster. And then he's like drunk, passed out in the seat. And I'm just like, crap. This is not gonna work. Forget it, I, I'll, I'll see if I can figure something out. So I go up there, um, Dave and his whole team are there and it, it was, it was, it was weirdly eerie. It was weird seeing him in the first time in person. Like I know he was a big, I, I, you know Darth Vader is a big, you know, person. You know the actor he played was a big dude and he's a bodybuilder, but you, it's a different when you see him in person. Like he is a massive person. He is a massive in person. Like funny thing is, um, he's probably the same height as me. 
like I'm six three and a half, you know, and, and he's like the same height as me, maybe a little taller, but he is a really big built stocky dude. Like for his age at the time, he was still really in shape. And his hands were massive, like huge. So it was, it was like, yeah, I can see why they, they chose you to be Darth Vader. I, I totally can see. I have my helmet and my poster and then I'm in line. And then I, everybody else gets their signatures and everything and I walk them to him and I'm like, oh, and also, so I have a helmet, I have my poster and then I also had um, some 501st patches and stickers and everything to give him from um, the Southern California squad and Orange County squad and everything and uh, some coins. And I walk up to him I'm like, hi, how you doing, sir? Like, it's so good to meet you in person, finally. He's like, hello, what's your name? I'm Dupree, Dupree. Like, that is that is a really nice helmet. That is a nice piece of work right here. I'm like, thank you so much. He's like, did you make it? I'm like, no, I didn't make it but I, I painted it and he's like, this is a pretty job. This is really pretty. He's like, do you want me to sign any one of these? Is it this or the poster? I'm like, yes, can you sign my poster? So I give him the poster and then, you know, he has, so what color ink would you have? Uh, the blue one, blue one. He's like, okay. So he signs it. Dave Prowse is Darth Vader, which he always wrote on everything he signed. Dave Prowse is Darth Vader on everything. He's like, would you like to take a picture? I'm like, yes, yes, I would love to take a picture. He's like, all right, um, can I hold the helmet? Yes, D technically this is yours. He's like, yeah, okay, well, stand behind me and then put your arm right here and put your arm on my shoulder and let, let's do this. So <laughs> that's how I got this picture. It kind of sucks because after that picture, he's like, would you want me to sign the helmet too? I'm like, that would be great if you could. But his manager said no, it's limit one. And then in my head, I'm just like, damn you. Like to my friend that was like passed out in the car <laughs> because I knew I was never gonna get a chance at this again. But at the same time, you know, it was kind of like either or, what do you want more kind of situation. That poster is like probably the one thing I, I really wanted. The helmet would have been second and it just sucks, but whatever. Anyway, so I got the poster signed I got my picture at least, and I got praise from the man who actually was Darth Vader, which went a long way in my book. So then after the picture, I told him who I was. I told him what I did. I told him I'm in the you know, 500 Legion, 501st Legion. I told him, you know, I studied his acting, everything he did, his movements. You know, this is my helmet that I wear when I go do events or do cosplay stuff. And he was amazed and it was, it was generally satisfying to get like some kind of praise from somebody that you were emulating that you grew up watching. So he wanted to see pictures. I showed him pictures from different events that I've done and stage shows. I gave him the the patches from the five from the Legion, the 501st Legion patches and stuff, and I challenged coins. And he's like, "Thank you," and a fine addition to my collection. I'm like, "What are you grievous now?" I told him, like, I drove out from California. He's like, you drove out from California to meet me? I'm honored. I'm honored. I'm like, thank you. Like, you know, I yeah, I never got the chance to meet you. And this is what I really wanted to do. I told him, like, you know, you always got to meet, like, the people you grew up watching, your heroes, you know? He's like, that's definitely true. Definitely true. I'm, I'm glad and glad and thankful you drove all this way to meet me. Um, and I told him the thing about my friend and, and then he said, well, it kind of, it's kind of a bummer about your friend, you know, who knows, maybe next time, maybe next time if you guys are ever in like the UK and like, oh, in my head, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> about that. <laughs> it was just cool to get some, some praise from, you know, somebody that I grew up watching. Um, and then I, um, I left. I, I shook his hand once more and I, I left, said bye to Hip Hop Trooper and people I knew there. Got in my car, like looked at my friend, just like shaking my head like I gotta like, just... You know, it was that kind of feeling. So I drove back, drove straight back to um, LA. It was a five hour drive because I was stuck in traffic. So it's five hours to get back. Dropped my friend off then drove straight to the studio where we were filming uh, the thing. Got in the character, got in the costume and everything, you know, said what's up to you know, all my friends. We did that. 
we did that, which was a cool thing, which was a cool event. Um, that shoot was maybe uh, an hour or so, a couple hours, because we did a few takes. We definitely did a few takes. Now here's the, here's what, actually, this is what happened. This is the video. So we did that and then I desuited, cleaned my stuff up again, and then I drove straight to an orphanage and uh, met everybody up there, got suited up and handed toys out to kids, to orphans. Keep in mind, this was maybe a full 24 hours of n straight no sleep at all. And I was running off of at least four or five monsters and rock stars. And I can tell you, like, after I got out of that costume, it was the most, at that event, it was the most satisfying feeling ever. Like, it was this big sigh of relief, like, that I got all that done in one day. And I met one of my childhood heroes. I was in this cool event, commercial thing. And I got to help out kids and give out toys and stuff. So it was a really rewarding couple of days. Yeah, that... It's how I met Dave Prowse, R.I.P. Dave Prowse, like he just passed away the other day, which really sucks. And I'm grateful that I actually got the chance to meet him and tell him I do what I do because of you, because of you and what you did. And this, you've been one of my inspirations, you know, for me doing this. Like I learned from you, you know, how to do this. Watching you help me be a better Darth Vader, be a better, you know, cosplayer. It, it was cool and gratifying to like let him know that. My condolences to his family and and everybody. It really sucks losing a loved one. And then also, like I always tell people, go and meet these people. Go and meet your heroes while you can, because we only have them on this planet for such a short time, and they could be they could be here one day and not the next. So always go and meet those people, because then it's gonna be a little bit of regret. But anyway, this has been my Star Wars story, guys, and thank you guys for watching. If you like this story, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I definitely have a lot of more stories to tell. Stay tuned. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button and then hit that bell so you can get notifications whenever I post my next videos. And until the next time, may the force be with you guys. Bye.